Hi, happy Monday. That's the thing I say at the beginning of my video. I should switch it though. Hey all, Scott here. I want to throw my life into the sea and, and reincarnate as Scott the Waz. Today we're going to talk about two sentence horror stories. Two sentences? I thought we were trying to get rid of the prison industrial system. Now we're here giving them out to everybody. Not just one, but two. Listen, I, I want to talk about some things first. First of all, I have some people to shout out that I've been meaning to shout out for a while, but I really don't, uh, I, I keep forgetting because I post videos so much and I, and I have a bad memory, huh? First of all, YouTube channel I really like, Dean Soups, wonderful channel. I, one of my favorites on YouTube, not getting enough attention, hilarious. Oh, it is your birthday. Okay, well, here's a couple really cool gifts. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, present lad. Goodbye, present Bye. lad. Bye, present Bye. lad. Bye. I love you. I love you, present lad. I love lad. you, present lad. You're so handsome. I love You're so you. Handsome. You're so handsome. Second person I want to shout out, Claire Ruddy. You might know her as Claire DePaul on TikTok. She made this series called Brain Job. It's three parts, and she's even been posting these other videos. And by golly, if if they're not getting enough attention, I think it's some of the funniest stuff on YouTube. I think she's she's one of the best comedians I know. Do you think the way you look affects how you're treated? How long do you think it'll take this time? After two long minutes, finally a helping hand. Or so I thought. You're very up. And she's making stuff that is new and exciting and different. Same with Dean Soups, the other guy shouted out. Please just check out both of them. Give them, give them a little bit of your time. Just a little, a little piece. Throw them a little something. Last update I want to give. I don't want to make a big deal out of this. I'm going through a quarter slice crisis. And my, my life's falling apart and I'm going to fix it. So I'm going to stop posting that much. And I might post one time on my main channel every week and a couple times on my second channel. But I'm going to relax. I have some passion projects I'm working on. And I want to lay back and enjoy life. You know? Smell the roses for a second. That's all the updates with me. Nick, tell them what's up. Hey, thanks, Nick. Today, we're going to be talking about two sentence horror stories. I got an email from Sydney. Hey, Nick. Don't know if you've heard about this before, but there's a whole subreddit dedicated to two sentence uh, short, two, se two sentence horror stories. So it's basically a horror story that's two sentences. Let me give you an example. Sometimes they are pretty spooky. 911, what's your emergency? I asked and listened to the quiet sobs of a little kid on the end of the line. That is more than one sentence already. I think my daddy wants to kill me, the girl said and cried, making me freeze on the spot as I recognized my daughter's voice. Now, some of them really are kind of creepy. Like, that kind of sends little little shivers down your spine, huh? But today, we're going to be looking at a Twitter account that Sydney sent me called Bad Two Sentence Horror. And I'm going to act them out because I'm awesome and I'm a good actor and I want to be a, I want to I want to hone my acting skills so someone can hire me on Broadway. I would love to be in a horror movie. I really would. I keep asking Elsie because she was in the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre and she did a great job, but she refuses to give me a spot in anything. It's ridiculous. She keeps saying, "I don't have any grasp over who casts who in a movie. I can't just give you a a blockbuster hit acting job." Friends, right? They kind of suck, huh? So I said, I'm gonna do it on my own, okay? I don't need you. I don't need I don't need to be a nepotism guy. What's nepotism for friends? Like cronyism. I don't I don't think being a crony is that bad of an idea. What's wrong with making a couple friends and making your way into the industry, right? Okay, let's let's read some horror. And then I'll sort of act it out, you know, as I do in front of the green screen, and we'll cut together something that's beautiful, you know, a big film. Perhaps. Here we go. I was all too happy to oblige when my son told me that he wanted to be a girl. Trans allies for life. I always wanted a daughter anyways. I said, grinning as I grabbed the sharpest knife from the kitchen. That one is just disgusting. Ah, oh, I, I hate that shit. What kind of, uh, uh, some transphobic two sentence horror shit? What is going on? That's how we're going to start, really? I don't even want to act that one out. Maybe I won't act that one out. I was mortified when I found myself naked in front of a giant cow. She sat down on a stool in front of me and squeezed my breasts until all the milk go into a big bucket. I'm not acting that out, bro. Get it out of here, get it out of here. Bye-bye, bye, bye. Okay, let's try this one. The victim was found with 108 Uno cards in his corpse. Then the coroner pulled one out. 
He heard a ticking sound begin and noticed the card was marked REVERSE. Sometimes I read it and then I don't like actually think about what's like so far in my brain. I haven't thought about what this actually means yet. Are they saying that you're going to the coroner is going to die? Is that the joke that well, not the joke in the middle of the night? Your dog stands on his hind legs and says nobody will ever believe you. Then you see him grab a kitchen knife and run into your parents room. Huh? I love the little tweet right here. When I'm in a knife running contest and my opponent is my dog. I like that one. After my girlfriend dumped me, I punched my bathroom mirror in anger, leaving blood in the cracks. At first, I thought the blood was from my fist. Then the shards fell to reveal a wall of flesh behind the mirror. Ew, what? This tweet right here explains something well. I love how the girlfriend literally has nothing to do with anything. Like he could have just said I was angry, so I punched my mirror. We didn't need the context. But yeah, this person does explain. He lost his girlfriend, but he gained a flesh wall. Go find daddy, my mother asked me. I pointed at the cooking pot. She went silent. <laughs> the first reply, their father is a cooking pot. I'm confused. Why? Huh? The idea is that the father was killed and cooked and is now in the cooking pot. The moon looks beautiful tonight. What's that crawling across it? I'm gonna take the cumber batch. No, that is actually, that's actually pretty scary. Did you guys see that poster? This poster for um, Dr. Stooge or whatever his name is. Dr. Strange and the Multi-Madness of Murder. He, uh, the poster, this poster was awful. It looked horrible. We don't need everything to be right down the middle. Like, make a cool poster. You can put anything on there. I'll make a better poster right now. Put it up. Put it up on the screen. I made that. I'm editing this. I don't know why I'm telling myself to put it up. Should we do one more? I know this is like a probably a short video, but, but I'm going to have to do all the green screen mm -hmm. and I want to test it out. You know, he won't stop screaming from his broken leg. I licked the hammer clean and told him to quiet down or more is coming. What? That's not there's no twist or anything. Why are you licking? What are you licking the hammer for? Please don't eat me. I cried, but it was too late. My dad was too far into his sleepwalk. Bro, wake him up. Just wake him up. <laughs> wake him up, dude. Anyways, guys, I, I'm going to stop there because it's going to take me a long time to edit and I want to make it real funny. But if you want to see more of this, let me know. I'm going to start posting on my main channel a little bit more and I think this will probably be on my main channel because I'm going to be ha I'm, I'm happy with how the filming went. So hopefully the other part I did that was good too. Yeah. Thanks for watching. You know where to find me. All my social media. It's down below. Nick is not green on everything. What do you, what do you want? Also, go to my fourth channel. Uh, he said us. You can just look that up in the search bar. And I'm putting a bunch of funny crap on there. It's like a big shit post channel, you know? Anyways, speaking of shit post, I'm going to go uh, post a picture of my shit. Bye.